status check. 20 seconds. Go Vulcan. Go Centaur. Go Paris. 15, 15 seconds. And here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. BE4 engine ignition. And liftoff for the very first time of United Launch Alliance's Vulcan rocket. Powered by two solid rocket boosters and a pair of BE4 engines on that Vulcan first stage. Now 30 seconds into flight, let's listen to the rumble of the BE-4 engines igniting for the very first time, supporting the launch of a Vulcan rocket. Now 50 seconds into flight. Coming up on 60 seconds into the flight, everything looking good. We're now a minute into flight. We're approaching max Q, the point of greatest aerodynamic pressure, coming up in 10 seconds. And we've hit our first throttle point on the BE-4. Is everything looking good? And we have passed through Mach 1. We're now supersonic, coming up on max Q. We've had max dynamic pressure. Everything looking good. We're rolling off on the SRBs. And we have cutoff on the SRBs. On We're on a minute 30 into the mission. 30 seconds. Solid rocket booster separation coming up momentarily. 15 seconds to SRB jet. BE-4s continue to operate nominally. You hear that good call out that the BE-4s expected PU activity and the booster mains are burning as expected as we come up on two minutes into flight. And we have separation of both SRBs. Everything looking good. BE-4s continue to operate normally. The two Northrop Grumman. Coming up on two minutes into the mission. Solid rocket boosters now are separated. Miles in altitude. And without the solid rocket boosters, you really see the blue color of the methalox that's powering those BE4 engines. And we see it's Mr. PU correcting towards a nominal MR. Everything looking good. This tracking view from our friend Pete Carson's Engine now on board cameras from the Vulcan first stage. And we now weigh approximately half of our liftoff weight. Everything looking good. Crossing two and a half minutes into flight now. And we fired the power valve, activating the reaction control system. Next milestone coming up. In the upper stage, pressures are rising. Booster engine cutoff. T plus expected. four minutes and 58 seconds. You hear that call out? The BE-4's first in-flight demonstration. Vehicles continue to fly down the center of the range track. Everything looking good. So far, so good. 53 miles in altitude, 52 miles downrange, traveling at 4,000 miles per hour. We're now three minutes, 14 seconds into flight. Seeing that brilliant blue dot. It's the excellent performance out of the BE-4's. Of those Super pressure, nice and smooth. BE-4 engines. This view coming from our tracking cameras here at the press site. This one being managed by our Adam Bernstein. Vehicle steadily accelerating, a little over two Gs at this time. Good body rates. Nice and smooth operation of the booster. This view from Pete Carstens. 47 miles in altitude, 95 miles downrange at 5,500 miles per hour. We're now just about a minute away from booster engine cutoff. Continue to burn normally, everything looking good. Eco coming up at T plus four minutes, 50.9 seconds. And the vehicle now weighs one quarter of this liftoff weight as we pass through the Carmen line. Next mark we we're looking for is Blue Space Children on the Centaur main engines. And you heard that call out that Vulcan has passed the Carmen line and for the first time a Vulcan rocket it's now in space. Booster mains continue to operate normally. At T plus four minutes, 34 seconds and counting. 
Less than 20 seconds away now from the booster engine cutoff. We've begun boost phase chill. Housing temps are dropping as expected. Getting ready for the ignition of those RL-10C 1-1A engines coming up shortly. Coming up to the end of boost phase. Approximately 10 seconds to Pico. Throttle down in preparation for Pico. We've completed boost phase chill down. And we have cutoff. And you hear and see a good cutoff of Pico. Separation. We have Vulcan Centaur separation. Everything looking good. Coming up on the Centaur phase. And from the view of those two RL-10C 1-1 engines as they ignite now for the first time on this flight. A bit of data loss here. We've recovered the data. It's like Centaur engines are up and running normally. Good steady state pressure. And we've just jettisoned the payload fairing. Two good brake wires. And there you see the animation of the payload fairings falling away, simulating what we would be experiencing at this stage of the flight. You see the Peregrine Lunar Lander bubbles on the Centaur mains. Now exposed the to the vacuum of space for the first time.